Sencillo. Welcome to a new studio vlog. Today I'm going to be making new designs of these ceramic coasters. This is the first one I've made so far and it took quite a lot of trial and error. So hopefully I've got that sussed now. I made it using the sublimation technique. So that's when you heat press the image onto the substrate and it, the heat transfers the ink onto here. So I'll take you along with me and explain more of the process as I go. So the first job is to make the print file. I need to edit my artwork images well, I need to pick the artwork images that I'm going to use. I'm not 100% sure which designs are going to work on the coasters yet. So I'll pick them, crop them down and make sure that they fit the size of the coaster when they're printed. So I've already got this template that I used for the blue tip coaster. And this square prints the same size as the coaster. So what I need to do is take this image, drop it onto here. And then make it the same size as this. And then we'll see how it fits inside the square. So I'm just going to put the opacity down. So there you can see the square behind. I think actually that will fit quite nicely. So what I'm just going to do is use the guides to show where the square is. That's better, you can see now. So obviously we need to get both the birds in, but it might be nice to have this flower, although we have got these ones, so perhaps I will crop that out there. So actually, yes, that's quite a nice finish here. Okay, let's see, let's crop that down. So I'll just inverse that selection and then delete. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so I'm going to test printing one first, just to make sure that the colours come out okay. I might actually just saturate this a little bit. I'm 
Okay, so we'll print. So we let printer determine the colour. Relative colour metric. And then we have the sublimation preset already. So this paper type is set to the paper that I've got, which is Epson transfer paper. We've got custom colour correction and we want it to be ICM. So I need to actually change my default settings. And then the other important thing is mirror image because it, the way it prints and presses it needs to flip the image. Okay, so I've just updated my preset there. And that's it. So the one thing with sublimation that you need to remember is that the print comes out completely the wrong colour. So this looks really really faded, but the ink that's used for sublimation gets activated with heat. So once this is made hot, the colours will all hopefully be the right colours. <laughs> so now I'm going to test press this to make sure that I've got the right colours before I go in on the ceramic coaster. So this is just an MDF coaster, a lot cheaper than the ceramic ones. First of all I need to get the, they've got a coating on them, so I need to try and get that off. So now that this is printed, I'm going to turn on the heat press. Which is down here. I haven't really got any space for it at the moment. So we need it to be 180 degrees and 180 seconds which it looks like it's already on, but I'll just check that. Yeah, 180, 180. Okay, and another important thing that I've found is that you must have the heat bed open, otherwise it gets way too hot in there and it just burns the ink. So while that's printing, I'm just going to try and level this up. So these MDF coasters are quite a bit smaller than the ceramic ones, I forgot about that when I was testing but it doesn't matter. Just when we try and get the birds in. Quite hard to tell but like I say this is just a test. Then once you're happy this is special heat tape. fiddly stuff so we're just going to use that to stick the coaster down to the paper
So once you're happy that's stuck down securely, you've now got to press it. So one thing that I've just realised, because I'm actually using MDF coasters first, I don't need it on such a long time. So we want to put that down to 45 seconds. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to put a blank piece of paper down just so that none of the ink. <laughs> Girl, just wait a minute. Put a blank piece of paper down. <laughs> She's trying to play with Eli, bless her. Um, so, yeah, blank piece of paper down so that the ink doesn't spray onto the mat. Then the coaster goes that way, <laughs> so the piece of paper on top, and then just a piece of baking paper. And then, fingers crossed, and we shut the lid. <laughs> oh, actually, I just need to... It's last been set for the ceramic coasters, so it's going to be a bit loose, which will make it ghost. So I'm just going to take that off for now, put it down and tighten it up a bit. I should have done this first before I set the temperature. Hopefully that will be all right. Okay, right, fingers crossed. Yeah, that feels quite tight. It's now counting down, so we've just got to wait. Right, let's see what we've got. So I don't, can you tell that has come out a lot darker than it was before? This is so hot. <laughs> I'm gonna burn myself. stuck. Do you know I forgot to take the plastic off. <laughs> well <laughs> I'm happy with the colours but yeah I forgot to take the plastic sheet off. <laughs> Too busy vlogging. <laughs> Don't know if it was. <laughs> Look. Oh dear, never mind. Right. Well, I'm going to have to just guess because this is the last MDF coaster I've got spare. So, oh, I'm so annoyed with myself. I'm surprised it hasn't made a horrible chemical smell. I mean, looking at that, that's quite a nice colour. So these... MDF coasters are not as white as the ceramic coasters. Well, we're going to have to go for it. So you just got to make sure you get the right side. One will be not as smooth and not as white as the other. So I'll put that down. So you see it's a much better fit. So make sure that's as straight as possible. I really hope that this is going to go right the first time. 
I had so much trouble with the blue tip one. I think it's just because I was getting used to the process and I just couldn't get the image files right. And then I think I just changed one setting and it just, that was it. It was right after that. So, so far I've only wasted one, well not wasted, uh, one ceramic coaster because it ghosted a little bit. I think I didn't have the temperature up high enough but I actually used that coaster at work so it's fine for us for me but I wouldn't want to sell it okay I'm quite happy that that is secured down now I just Ooh, oh, oops this is so fiddly. Right, I'm going to put a bit more sticky on. So, just learning from last time, I'm just using a blank coaster without the image on and I'm just going to make sure that the the level of tension is right so you see I can't push that down so I need to loosen it Don't forget to put the time up. Is this going to have worked or not? Um, the best way to do this. Oh wow! Oh it has, it's worked perfectly. Oh I can't pick it up to show you. Oh I'm so pleased. Right I'll let it cool down and then I'll show you. Okay, so this is cooled down now. Just check so yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how it's turned out. It's just printed so perfectly. I think definitely upping the saturation a little bit helped as well. been cooling I've made a few more print files so I'm going to get on print those press them and hopefully fingers crossed they'll all print out as well as that one did and then I'll show you the finished result but first the last step of this one is to stick the backing on So 
So try and get it as straight as possible. There we go, one finished coaster. So here we have the other designs. So we've got Twilight Brock, Harry, and Sunset at Leap. I didn't up the saturation on these before I printed them. So I think they could be a little bit better. So I have edited the print file and upped the saturation. So I'll probably print them again, but they look pretty good. So I can safely say that this has been a successful session. I'm so happy with how the coasters have turned out. I can't actually believe that they've come out good the first time. And they are almost perfect, they just need that little bit of higher saturation and they should be good. I mean the ones I've printed now, they'll still be fine to sell and they'll have their first outing the beginning of April at my next farmer's market. So I hope they go down well. I think I'll end the vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.